Local law enforcement has reportedly received more than 170 calls related to the Mallory's over the past two years. CW and his family claim these calls are rooted in racism. As of April 2023, the El Paso County Sheriff's Office has not arrested anyone for the harassment the Mallory's have experienced. On February 6, CW was arrested and detained for two days. All right, so I just finished my day job here in London, and uh, I tell you what, I'm knackered. I've just done 10 hours shift. It's mad, insane. The thing is, I can't do YouTube on the side, and uh, it's not my full-time job yet. And uh, for now, it's just a part-time sort of thing. So I promise. Um, I've been getting a lot of um, comments recently. A lot of people want to know what it's like being black in Poland because the place I recently travel and uh, your comments and all the nice things you've said uh, over the past seven few weeks now I would say it's a country I would say it's very underrated I went there with an open mind uh, with a clean slate I'm not trying to hold back and just put things out there based on my experience right and uh, I'll tell you what the one thing I've understand I've, I've realized that tra traveling when you go to a place as, as a human being someone can look at you in the first few seconds and they can judge who you are you know for me when i go to a place when i speak to people i always speak to anyone with respect regardless if you're rich you're poor or whatever right and uh i think when you have that kind of mindset it's it's very rare for you to experience anything negative you know for me i've been to so many continents right do you know, I've learned a lot from my experience. I think people that travel, they tend to be more intelligent, right? You know, you see, some people, some black people want to go to a certain place, they're very close-minded, maybe they come with all, all kind of like, maybe they, they bring in a lot of negative energy, and what you project out there is what you're going to get. So what is like being black in Poland? Well, I tell you what, I'm going to spice things up a little bit for you. Or how about what it's like being black in Poland compared to America. The reason why I always pick on America because they always pick on country out there, they always bully country for decades now. It's been going on for centuries, right? I think now it's about time for me to, like, to debunk all the lies about certain countries. I think um, the reason why you tend to appreciate content creators like us, right? YouTube, right? going to a certain place, YouTubers that put on the hard work, is because like you're learning, you're receiving something that is factual, that most Western media will easily cut because it might not seem attractive to the Western audience. You know, the image certain countries are, have in the Western world is quite backward. Like for Poland, for instance, right? Some people will easily think it's a very racist country, right? It's only white people, you know, they hate gay people. That's what most people will think. You know, I've seen gay people in Poland. Not to say it's, an ex it's widely accepted from everyone out there. Everyone have their, their likes, some things, sometimes some people don't like certain thing, right? You know, every country is different in their nature and every country has their own, you know I mean, like, their customs and needs, you know. Some countries that only focus on the growth of the country, they don't focus on Western standard of living or whatever, right? For me, I am very versatile. I, I and you know, I encourage conversation from, um, from different angle, right? Whether it be you're straight, you're black, you're white, you're gay, you're whatever, right? I'm totally open. As long as you come and project posit positive energy towards me, I don't mind. Maybe some Americans will say, you know what? You're not even American, right? You're not entitled to talk about America. Well, 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 listen, right? Maybe you may say I don't know nothing about America. I do know something about America. I used to live there. I used to study and, and this is my ID, right? I said the thing is, I'll say, it's in America. It's a country I know something about. The history is quite old as well. A country that was founded on July 4th, 1776, you know, and over that period of time, so they've seen countless of presidents, President Bush, you know, you got Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln, you got activists like, you know, Martin Luther King, and it's a country that's seen the likes of the best president and also the worst, the most racist president out there, Donald J. Trump. We all know that guy. That guy is a crazy guy, isn't it? But I think um, the time he was in office for four years, it was quite exciting for the media because they have something to talk about, right? Something, something negative because negative news tend to sell and that causes a lot of um, calamity. And uh, of course, and not too long ago, the 
you know, it's a capital house. The capital building was also invaded by some, let's say, Trump mob, you know, attackers that go there. It was a disgrace for the country, you understand? So I think a lot of um, people that leave outside of America, they know a lot about America than Americans know about any countries out there. You know, let don't get this thing twisted. I think um, the American media do influence the rest of the world. I would say American culture surely is a culture that is widely accepted all around the world. And I would just say, and sometimes the way they portray it about us, they portray certain country, it's not right. Some continents like in Africa, for instance, right? Everyone labeled it as a very poor backwater. There's not a lot happening there. And um, basically, when you go there, you tend to see something the opposite, right? So Western media do tend to lie. Even countries like, let's say China, right? Because right now, America and China, they're not in a good time. So basically, it's, let me just walk a lot a, a bit, right? So basically, some people might not, might not like the idea of China surpassing America. So Americans are very patriotic. Well, in terms of like, as a black man living in Poland, oh boy, I did not experience anything I mean severe racism yes I did briefly uh, talk about um, that let's say unfortunate like incident that happened in, in Warsaw this random guy just called me out of nowhere and then raised his hand to his hair and then starts saying white power and that was very very disgraceful from that young man and I just feel very embarrassed for him man it's not right yeah it's a very racist slang, slang towards it I wasn't I wasn't there saying black power or trying to let's say trying to maintain eye contact or whatever i know i wasn't trying to do any of that i was just minding my business and it was really shocking for me so you know exactly what it was doing i see racism is a thing that happens everywhere you see recently i stumbled into these americans they're having a tour here i think they're traveling here in the uk look how happy they are they are they feel they felt safe I was talking to them, they like London. Here you go. So like, no, so the thing, it's like, you can be totally honest, right? So yeah, that's right. the most important thing. So what do you think of London? I like, like it. It's very I slow like it. Yeah? No, it's, it's not slow. It's, I it's, think it is. Compared yeah. to New York? It's still, it's fast, but it's, people are not so much in a hurry. You see yeah. people moving, it's not yeah. a, yeah. we're not in a, so we're New not York, in a country. So New York has that fast pace. It doesn't, yeah. it's chill. Yeah. It's yeah. chill. People yeah. still yeah. going about their business. It's just, I mean, not. So different energy, different vibes, yeah. right? Yeah. So do you have any lingo, like British lingo, if you capture so far? Ooh, Ooh. gone. What we said today. Capture. Capture. <laughs> <I'm, laughs> so, sometimes when they say in it. In it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like in like, it. It's like saying isn't it, isn't it? So, yeah. 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 so you like that one, yeah? Yeah. What, what, what else? What else? America is a very dangerous place. If you're a black person, you're very, let's say you're, you're pretty much oppressed. A war zone. You can't rely on on people and authority to protect and serve, you know, us and be fair with us. To be hunted, um, not only from, from locals who can't understand that Black people can own land, but from Sheriff's Department, I think is the most hurtful, especially as someone who took an oath. Facing frequent threats and racism from the local community, the Mallory sought help from the local police. However, their situation only got worse. We don't tolerate any racism in any form, right? I think it's a disgrace, it shouldn't be like that. We are all, literally, we are all equal. You know, walking down the street in Poland, people, yes, you see them grannies, them, I think the whole generation tend to stare a lot. Oh my God. Especially when you branch out to the other, let's say smaller towns like Tarum, you go to like, um, Pozna as well, like, although it's a big city, but yeah, I don't think they see a lot of people that look like us black people, right? Of course, you see a lot of student vibe there in, in Pozna, but Tarum is very, very small, right? I think the smaller cities you go, the the much attention you're going to draw towards your, to, to yourself, right? And the locals tend to be quite nice. They want to practice, probably, they want to practice the English. And I stumble into so many people when I whack out the camera out. Of course, some people can easily be nice when the camera is out, are out. But uh, the energy sometimes I can read it. Of course, and sometimes I can't. But I like it when they're they're very nice. Like 
when I ask for direction they want to help me out they're curious and they also ask me where I'm from and sometimes we just can't relate because we don't have so many things in common you know to say Poland is a racist country you have to look at other countries and uh, and how how long those countries they've been diverse right compared to um, Poland Poland is recently allowing a lot of uh, refugees from Ukraine um, a lot of students coming in from Africa from or from Asia right I saw a lot of Asian students there whether it be the Chinese the Indian you know you name it right so it's a it's a culture that has been influenced from a different angle you got to like so far the Turkish um, vibe there you got Turkish kebab you know there's so many things that is growing there and you know for a country that's let's say it's relatively it's not it's not a new thing like when it comes to like immigrant right but it's, it looks like over the past uh, one or two years it has picked up a little pace in terms of foreigners moving to Poland whether it be from the UK a lot of them British people are moving to, to Poland because of the low cost of living and the quality of life you tend to have there and it's a very safe place you see for a black person when you walk down the street police officers they will look at you they don't, sometimes they, they don't even look at you they just those maybe they're just curious when you have a camera and then they just go by you know they'll just drive they don't even stop you or say ask you a lot of questions as long as you enter the country legally it's it's key wherever you're going whatever country you visit or you're leaving in make sure you go to that country legally and then that way of course and it's it can be much easier it will be much easier for you right you know of course and for Poland I have to be honest it's a country that doesn't have a lot of let's say spare jobs out there for foreigners to work you know because um, yeah um, it's, a, it's a country I've said the economy is not as big compared to the UK or America and uh, yeah it's, well, when you look at the size as well it's not it's not a massive country isn't it uh, in terms of unemployment rate I think the vast array of you actually mentioned employment rate is actually down when I look into that yes it's really down as well and that is really good for the, the, the citizen there so that is fantastic so if you're going to Poland my advice is like when you're going there just be kind you understand so just go and just go with an open mind you know don't look for trouble if you go into a place if you go to a place you're looking for trouble trouble come your way you know of course always smile or don't, don't smile often but just do smile i'm pretty sure you'll stumble into one or two person who will like or want to know one or two things about where you farm maybe they want to practice their english you know in terms of safety you don't have to worry like in america you see like uh, there's a lot of mass shooting happening you know you you go on a tube you call it on the subway you're scared for your life right and uh, you don't want to be in a place that where you're constantly worrying about when when there's going to be the, the next mass shooting nah it's not a, it's not a place everyone want to leave they come it's just repeated can't protect our property someone jumped the fence and they were at the front door and i was naked and i did what i'm trained to do to protect myself and the land and ultimately this person was let go because they were white to say poland is a perfect place racism discrimination do happen i spoke to so many people so many people came to the rescue when i left my my suitcase i was like in a random taxi so it was mad but that just shows right if i was traveling in a very dangerous country chances are i would have never get get back my suitcase right but people step in to help me out you know and uh yeah man i just felt like it's a very acceptable place where you can go if you just want to leave in europe you just want to travel you want to see some eden jam then i would say poland it's, it's worth a shot man you go there it is very inexpensive you're coming from the states america wherever you come from let's say new york chicago miami la trust me man your money is going to go so far and also if you're a single guy then just go there and speak to a, a nice polish girl that will be more than happy to you you know what i mean to show you around and maybe you might find love and romance you know but don't travel for the women though just travel because you want to learn you want to see something new yeah it's not high highly produced but i just want to make it more real so you know exactly uh, there's nothing written down so i'm just speaking from the heart so basically i hope you find value from this episode if you do then stay tuned i think i do have 
one or two chapters I want to share from my time in Poland and then yeah of course I have so many other countries I want to visit because I got very soon I'll be leaving the UK I want to be traveling across Asia in the future and I have so many places I want to check out you know Japan South Korea go back to Indonesia you know so many other countries so maybe if you're Polish you want to travel you want to learn more about the world China other countries around the world then stay tuned I like to inspire you for me I'm creating my own chapters I'm going to different countries and I'm debunking all the lies from Western media you know I don't listen I don't watch BBC news except if or if there's going to be another pandemic God forbid it doesn't happen anyways um, I think someone will clip this video this this bit right for the future if anything like that happened they're gonna be like oh my you jinx it right so for me I'm creating my chapter and I don't listen to all this Western media. I don't dig right into it anymore. I just go with an open mind, create my own slate, do my own research. And then of course, and I present things to you out there. Hence why you enjoy the content, right? So I'm not perfect. I do make mistakes, um, but I try not to make severe mistakes, you understand? So this is my honest take on what it's like being black in Poland. You don't have to be worried. It is safe. Police are not gonna shoot you. Trust me, you're going to feel safe. Trust me, mate. you don't want to be looking your shoulder 24-7. You can walk at night, it's completely safe, mate. you don't have to worry. So that's it.